Today we're going to create Rousseau inspired tigers in a jungle. You have a drawing guide that shows you how to make a tiger and his, has examples of jungle leaves on the back. This drawing guide has dotted lines and it says to fold, but we're not going to fold our paper. This is just an example to show you how to get started to make your tiger. So first, I'm going to follow the directions to make my tiger. I'm going to put him here in the middle of my paper. You could make more than one tiger if you want, and the size is up to you. I'm going to start. I would like you to draw yours with pencil first. I'm going to go ahead and draw mine with marker first, just so you can watch. I'm going to start with a circle-ish shape. It does not need to be a perfect circle. Then in the middle of the circle, I'm going to make a nose. It could be a, a straight line with a U shape or it could be more triangle shaped. I'm going to draw two lines that get closer together like this to make the top of my tiger's nose. Then I'm going to add some U shapes for tiger ears. Then I'm going to add two lines to draw where his mouth is going to be. They're going to start right around where his nose connects, right around there, and go down to the bottom of the edge of the circle. Then I'm going to start adding some tiger stripes. These are just triangles. They could be smaller or bigger. It's up to you how many you put. But you don't want to make them too big because we do need to leave enough room for our tiger's eyes. Now in this picture, this, uh, this tiger looks sleepy. His eyes are closed. That's up to you. If you want to make your eyes open, I think I'm going to make my tiger eyes open. So I'm just going to make two circles. I'm going to draw the inside of his eyes. Now I'm going to make my tiger's mouth. going to make a smiley face shape and of course he's got to have whiskers. And my tiger has whiskers. Now don't forget his body. I don't want my tiger to just be floating so I want to make it go to the bottom of the paper and of course his body needs some stripes too. Now once you're finished with your tiger, it's time to add jungle leaves to make him look like he is hiding in the jungle. Henry Rousseau would draw all sorts of plants in his backgrounds around his tigers and animals. If you want to add other animals too, you can definitely do that. And you don't have to copy any of these leaves. These are just uh, examples. You can definitely make triangle shapes or grass. But I wanna make them all around him. You could add flowers. I think that's a fun thing to add is some tropical flowers. Maybe there's a tree coming from the background. Now once I'm done drawing my jungle shapes, I'm going to color. a vine hanging from the top. To fill up your space. You can even add different types of lines here in the background. There. 
all done. Next step is coloring.